ね
Don't die. Give me the phone. No. I've got to call the cops. No, no. I have to save Jerry. He's dying. No. Jerry. Is this the individual you called us about? Yes, sir, officer. He's the one. He's a cold-blooded killer. A murderer. Sir, could you please step away from the hole and put your hands behind your head? What's going on here? Just put your hands behind your head, please. No, sir. Let's That's not right. Crazy. Sorry. sorry, sir. This is routine Ooh. procedure. I just have to check to see if you don't have any All right. You're clean. Now, it seems this gentleman has called in a complaint against you. And I'm here to try to get to the bottom of it. But I have done anything. No, that's what they all say. I'll handle this if you don't mind. By the way, if you haven't met, this is Mr. Murdoch, your next-door neighbor. And he's been telling us how you've been cutting up women's bodies and burying their bones out here in your backyard. Any truth to that story? That's crazy. I've never hurt anybody. I'm just burying old ham bones like I always do. Well, I've been on the force for over 20 years, and I think I can tell the difference between a human bone and a ham bone. You see? You see? He did do it. He killed them all. Oh, tortured them and, and performed unspeakable sexual acts on them. Uh, uh, and then killed them. Uh, look around you. It's, it's a graveyard back here. This is a ham bone. Oh, hello. And you know what? In future, you better think twice before accusing every Tom, Dick, and Harry of being a mass murderer. Got it? Yes, but he's crazy. That'll be enough, Mr. Murdoch. Now, I've got a good suggestion. Why don't you both just go home and we'll call it a night? You know, I really should apologize to Cindy. I'll throw it again one more time. You know, no, she's no, a really, really neat girl. I'm late already. Maybe she'll give me another chance. I like that. That's the second time today. Boy, she sure is a clumsy bitch. Yeah. Took me a long time to make up that order. What does she think we run here? Hmm? A diner or a waitress training school? <laughs> That's it. I've had it. You tricked me on purpose. Ah, you're dreaming. I wouldn't waste my time tripping a stupid bimbo like you. Bimbo? Who are you calling a bimbo, you ugly your clumsy ass out of here. You're fired. You can't fire me. I quit. I wouldn't work another minute with you freaks if you paid me a billion dollars. That's what you are. Freaks. Especially you. Good rinse of bad rubbish. Does Dog Boy really have a prayer in hell of ever meeting up with Rondi for yet another disastrous date? Find out next time. See Dr. Shrinkman's clinic and her strange and stupefying psychological tests. We're going to show you a series of pictures. Hear Dog Boy's ridiculous responses. Chase! Barry! Feel Dr. Shrinkman's repulsion when Dog Boy gets over enthusiastic. Don't you ever try anything like that again. Be there. It isn't possible!
Do you know what this means? And that looks like Frank's ship. What? No, that is not Frank's ship, Mr. Stupid Idiot Albert Schweitzer. That's nothing to do with Frank. Oh. Can you guys let me out of here? Oh, God, he, he came around. I want my shower curtain back. We're not giving him his shower curtain back. Hey, what do you think of that, man? I don't know. That's a pretty big if. All right, now, don't slow down when we go through here. Hey, man, it says danger. I'm not going there. I know there. it does, but just don't slow down and you'll be all right, okay? Hey, man. I'm like blind or something. Not, hey, I'm blind. I can't see a thing. You're not blind. You're not blind. It's just dark. Wait for the lights to come up. Oh, there, there we go. See? Hey, I'm stopping, man. I'm scared. You're not stopping. Take your hand off my leg, okay? Oh, don't, sorry about don't that. Don't stop. Don't stop. Hey, man, what's that? What's that? What's that? Whoa! Whoa! Oh, man, look at that. Oh, man. That thing went right through us. No kidding. I smell like bacon now. from the stables. My horse is gone. Your horse is gone? I believe it was stolen, Baron. How dare you take that tone with me? I don't mean to be abrupt, but I will have answers. Well? Now, why did you remove the portrait of the Baroness from the wall? I sent it away for renovation. The, the dampness of these walls puts a mold on the pigment. Can you also explain the violin music and the girl in the chapel last night? You saw her again. So you admit there's a girl? Ilsa. Ilsa, is that her name? Answer me, Baron. Please, please, leave me in peace. If I leave you now, Baron, I will come back with a company of my men and I will tear this place down around your ears until I find her. Is that clear? Very clear. That's what they all say. Searching for the lost poodle of a wealthy millionaire, the specialists have stumbled upon the secret base of a race of alien hounds. The price for their information is total annihilation. Launch will occur in 30 seconds. What are we gonna do? That won't help. There's no time to get far enough away from the blast. I don't know about you guys, but I've had it up to here with this super death trap crap. You have a plan. Damn straight I do. Hey, muscles. Grab those potato sacks and shove them up the back way. Catch my drift? Gotcha, baby. What? Are you thinking of Mendel's experiments with potatoes? Those dealt with heredity. They can't help us. 21. Didn't you ever stick a potato in the tailpipe of a car? 18, 17, 16, What would that accomplish? 15, 14, 12, Absolutely 11, nothing. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Scotty, what is it? Five, She's going to blow. you blew up is uh, city property. So now you terrorists are gonna pay. It isn't possible. This can't be happening. Well, it is possible. And it is happening. In our next episode, a funny thing happened on the way to the mall. <laughs> hey, look, that's Frank's diner. Let's go there. 
No, it's not the same Frank. There's a lot of Franks in the universe, you know. Jeez, you keep really brilliant sometimes. Hey, this looks kind of familiar, man. No, you never been Is here. it? No, you never oh, been Oh, man, here. it is. It's the bank. I can't believe it. You brought me all the way here to go to well, the I bank. Well, I gotta do so. I gotta run some errands. Okay, now, don't look at my number. I'm gonna your number. Man. Yes, you are. I hope I got some money in my account. Oh, that's a pretty big if. been enjoying our MTV Animation Power Hour this Sunday night. Coming up next, the second part of our 1-2 Animation Punch, it's Speed Racer. He's 18, he's legal, he's made in Japan, and he's next.